Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel DC DIY. Today I'm sharing an easy home decor using items from Dollar Tree. If you want to see a step by step, please keep watching. This video is a part of the Home Tweet Home Challenge hosted by the amazing Leah from Junker Nick and her co host Annie from Andy Annie Jones. I will leave the link of her channels below. I hope you enjoy and stay tuned to watch all the playlist. Thank you so much. The first thing we're going to need for this project is going to be this Woodward house. I got it from Dollar Tree and here is the item number if you guys need it. And the second thing we're going to need for this project is going to be this wood crate. I got it from Dollar Tree as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to start painting them. And for painting them, I'm going to be using this Rustolian chalk paint on color white. I got it from Amazon. And also I'm going to be using this brush, this from Dollar Tree. And we're just going to start painting it and I'm just going to do one coat and I'm just going to let it dry. And this is how it looks once you finish painting it. And now we're gonna start painting the wood bird house. And what I did, I just covered the bottom and the edges of the wood bird house with painter's tape. Um, I just wanna cover those areas because we're gonna be painting it with different color. So once we cover it, I just gonna start painting it with the same brush and with the same paint. And now we're just going to be using this Waverly Chuck paint on color truffle and what I did in this small container I just put a little bit of paint and a little bit of water once I put it together I just mix it very well and I just create this stain to paint it um also I'm going to be using this natural butt sponge it's from Dollar Tree and what I did I just covered the middle part of the wood bird house with painter's tape so we don't paint that part that it's already paint on color white and I'm just did one coat and I'm just gonna let it dry. Also I paint the bottom part with the same color. So you guys can see right here, when I removed the painter's tape, it did bleed a little bit. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to grab this small brush, it's from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to be using again the same Waverly Chuck paint on color white. Also the paint was still wet, so when I was just painting it, it kind of distressed it a little bit the color. And you guys going to see right here, I'm going to show in the front. You guys can see that I just start fixing it, but it just kind of blended with the other color. So 
So now I'm going to be using this sandpaper, it's from Dollar Tree, and we're going to start sanding the edges of the Woodbird house just like this. Also, the paint, it was completely dry when I start sanding all the edges of the wood bird house. And this is how it looks once you're finished. And now we're just going to start painting the edges of the wood crate with the same paint and with the same brush, just like this. Also, I decided to distress the wood crate a little bit. And for that, I'm just going to be using the same paint and the same brush. But if you guys want, you guys can be just leaving it colored white. But I just love it the way that it turned out. So right here, you guys can see that I'm just putting a little bit of paint. Also, I paint inside And now I'm going to be using this sandpaper, it's from Dollar Tree, and we're just going to be sanding all that wood crepe just like this so we can start blending the two colors together. I'm going to be doing inside and outside and also the edges just like this. So I decided to distress a little bit the wood bird house so it can blend a little bit with the wood crate because I didn't like it how it looks completely white. So to distress it, I'm going to be using again the same stain and with the same brush and once I start finish painting it, I'm going to be sanding all the wood bird with this sandpaper just like this. So this is the next day. I just want to show you with more light how it looks the wood crate once we finish painting it. Also the wood bird house. And now I'm going to be using these napkins, they're from Dollar Tree and what I did, I just cut a piece and with my scissors I just cut all the bird and this is how it looks the bird once we cut it. Also I just cut a piece of the greenery so we can put it in the bird house. This is the part that I cut. So now I'm going to be using this mud podge, it's from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to start putting it in the bird house and to 
put it I'm gonna be using this small brush it's from Dollar Tree and I just put one coat of my Podge I'm gonna start putting the bird just like this also once I finish I'm just gonna be putting another layer of Mod Podge in the top of the bird and once it's completely dry I'm gonna do a second coat And now we're gonna start putting everything together. So you guys gonna have two options. You guys can display your house in the wood crate just like this, or you can put it this way too. I'm gonna be using it this way. And also to put in the bottom, I'm gonna be using this clay pot that I just created in my last project. I will link the link of the video so you guys can check it out. Uh, but if you guys want, you guys can put anything in the bottom of the wood crate because you guys can display anything on the bottom also you guys can glue all the pieces together and for a strong hole i will recommend it to use wood glue So that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time that I upload new video. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much.